Hey guys, so today we're going to start looking at uh, the fourth Linux tutorial in the series. Basically, we're going to look at how to append text onto a file inside Linux from the command line. Essentially, we are looking at building like a self-logging application. Uh, maybe we want to write a bash script that does something um, and we need to know if it successfully does it. And so what we can do is uh, we can capture that information and output it to a text file and automate the task so basically it becomes a self-logging uh, script and, and then we can keep up with whatever uh, we're trying to do to make sure that it works or doesn't work. We can keep log files. Also, uh, if somebody's copying a file into a directory or somebody's doing something that needs to be done on a daily or weekly or whatever basis, we can keep up with that by automatically logging that information from uh, the script that we're writing. So let's go ahead and go to the desktop. All right, so here we are. We are in the Windows subsystem for Linux. And basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, we need to know where we are. So we use the pwd command to find out what directory we're in. And it looks like I'm in my home directory. We're gonna use the ls command to see if there are any other files in here with us. And there are but there are no text files. So let's go ahead and create a text file using the touch command. I'm going to call this one Linux commands.txt. And now as we look, we can see that we've created a text file. If we use the cat command, we find out there's nothing in it. So let's go ahead and append some text to this. And we're going to use the echo command to do that. Echo is the same in Linux as it is in Windows. Basically what it does, it just echoes whatever you type in uh, back to the screen or somewhere else. We're going to send that echo to our text file. So we're going to go in a echo Linux commands text. Oops, first we need to put in the text. We want to send those. This line of text and we're going to use the uh, greater than two greater than it's not just one we want to use two so we're going to say Linux commands text now we can use the cat command to read it and there's our line of text all right now the key is we need to be able to append multiple lines so let's see if we can do that using the echo command. Say it's a second line of text. Ah. Now we're going to read it. And sure enough, we have two lines of text. And because we use those two arrows, uh, we got a line break at the end. If we'd done this, it's third, pardon me. This is more text. Just one of those. And what happens is, Oops, it does not append, it replaces. And so what we had, the this is a line of text, and the second line of text has been deleted, and essentially uh, we uh, we replaced we replaced that text with this is more text. So let's go ahead and append another line there. We're gonna echo this second line of text using two greater than signs. And now we're back. So that's how we can do it. We can also use the uh, printf function to send text to uh, a text file. So let's use the different method. Oops, we're going to still send it to. 
we're going to read it. And now you'll notice it did something weird down here in this last line. My command prompt is up on the line with the text. And the reason that it is is because when we use the print F, uh, we need to send a, uh, a line end. We need to send an EOF character, or it won't put an EOF at the end of this line, and so everything will just stay on this line of text that we try to append. So let's go ahead and see if we can send it an EOF, or an end of file, or an end of line, or next line, or new line, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can send that. So we do printf, and we're going to send it uh, slash n, and what that is, is that is the character for a new line you send that, it's going to append it. And hopefully, it will drop everything down. So let's see. And sure enough, it did. Now my command prompt is back on the uh, back on the right, straight and narrow. And let's see now if we can send a, another line of text using printf. But this time we're going to send a, uh, this is a fourth line. And we're going to send it period forward slash n. Oops, let's see if we can do it this way. Got that. Sure enough, we were able to send it. Now you notice you don't see the, the slash n here anywhere because uh, the new line character is invisible. It's like a paragraph character, it's like end of file character, all those things are invisible, but they're there. And the reason that we know they're there is because it dropped my command prompt down at the end of this line. So yes, we can in fact two different ways append text to uh, command or from the command line we can append text to a text file. All right, guys, also as part of this assignment, I want you to go on the Internet and find at least one more way. Now, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of ways to add text to a text file from a Linux command line. The reason that this is such an important and a, such a widely documented uh, tool is because it's an important tool because, it, like I was speaking about a while ago, Every administrator needs to be able to build log applications, and this is something that you'd be doing a lot of in, uh, as a Linux administrator, uh, pretty much as any kind of an administrator. You need to be able to log things that are happening without you constantly having to update a file. And so if you can capture the output, you can send it to a text file. So in addition to completing the assignment that's given below, I want you also to go in and find another way to add text to a text file and then uh, add that in, use that to uh, to add some text to your text file and then send that to me, all right? Okay, if you have any questions, remember I can be reached through the Canvas inbox and I hope that you have a good day.